Stakeholders have called on the government to protect the interest of host communities from foreign companies who degrade the environment and oppress indigenous people while engaged in mining activities. At the Natural uh, Resource Governance Summit, attention was drawn to the plight of host communities in Nigeria, the West African sub-region and other parts of Africa. Plus TV News correspondent Emmanuel Jenner completes the reports. Host communities have been at the receiving end of natural hazards associated with mining activities like water pollution, land degradation and other health-related challenges in their affected areas. To this end, the Global Rights Group in its advocacy campaign is championing an awareness where critical stakeholders can brainstorm, share ideas and experiences on ways to proffer solutions to the situation. It's actually a West African program where we interrogate the whole issues across the West Africa region, Nigeria, Sierra Leone and all other West African region, and to see how can we make our host communities sustainable, uh, how can we reduce or eliminate the, the negative impacts of mining activities in our communities. And so why is good to do business? How do we, how do we ensure that we are doing business in a way that does not negatively impact the, the lives and livelihood of the, of the host communities. Resource persons and members of host communities share bitter experiences while also placing major blames on the government for looking away at its plight. Over time, we have seen situations where communities where natural resources are taken in the country have become the uh, the face of poverty in the land and that is what my work over the years in the mining sector has looked at, including the oil and gas sector. We have many mining communities in Anka, Bukui, Moru and the Gumi local government in Zampara state but due to escalation of the conflict almost all the communities now are displaced therefore it is no longer an issue of where we have artisanal miners because there is a threat of insecurity and the escalation of insecurity in the most of the mining host communities. Therefore, it is no longer about having artisanal mining activities, but they are looking for alternative for way to save their life. Do blastering. Lead used to fall from the company to the to the dam we are using. It's very close. Look at the company mining site. Look at the dam, and that is water we are using. Our borehole have dried because of currently where they are is about 350 meters. So the water have dried, we don't have water. We have to go to other communities to get a drinking water. It is hoped that the final recommendation from the summit will help address the multiple challenges faced by the host communities as the government continues to profit from the mining exploitation. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.